is my project about different learning styles, different cognitive development, and the education of uh, any age, really. I want to show you a project I've been working on. So what started as this, actually, this was my first prototype. This is what I call a noggin tosser. And I, what I did is I put small phrases on it that would be um, open-ended sentences that people could use to then finish the sentence. Um, things along the lines of uh, my greatest accomplishments are, or some of my greatest fears are, or my greatest goals or achievements are. And then people would have the opportunity to then share in a circle or a group or a classroom about some of their goals and dreams and hopes. So what I did is I started to make a few other prototypes. Um, this is one, a smaller, about 150 um, circles on this one. This one would then be able to be used for more of a multiplication tables, addition, subtraction. And right now I just have it set up so that I know the color scheme and the layout of it, but then I'll be able to use it as, as an interactive tool for elementary age or junior high age kids to practice and maintain um, curriculum such as math or English or grammar skills. This is another one of the smaller, uh, more medium sized balls. This would be used for maybe a younger crowd um, shapes, maybe colors, um, even alphabet could be used for some of the kindergarten to preschool age kids. But the idea is to eventually have a whole line of them so that when I'm doing um, elementary school assemblies, which I do pretty frequently, that I'd be able to have something to pass around to each of the, the set up groups of children who are learning specific things like uh, multiplication tables or prepositions or synonyms or homonyms. Um, the different kinds of things that for kids it's tough to just learn an entire group of words or of curriculum if they don't have something to base it off of. And the basic concept was to just help children to understand that you can learn new things and you can associate new things, but it doesn't have to be in that same structure of, oh, it's in the classroom, I have to learn it from a book, I have to put it on paper, I have to be under fluorescent lighting that they can take it outside and they can have the entire classroom underneath the sun with the fresh air and interacting with each other and to toss it between each other and either finish the sentence or quiz each other on states and capitals and all that. And as I started to learn about the, the curriculum that we're reading through for the learning styles and the cognitive development that, that varies between every single person, I'm really starting to understand that my learning style all along was very much hands-on, uh, very much needing to see and feel and understand and to take it apart and to dissect it literally sometimes to be able to get how it works. And I'm seeing that a lot of creative minds, musicians, and artists uh, have that same type of mindset, that, that same type of cognitive uh, learning style. And so what I'm doing now is I'm working on one that I'm going to submit to the Ellen DeGeneres show. Um, this is called a noggin tosser. This is the largest um, prototype that I've started to create and what I would do is I would have the the logo would be on this side which is the it's gonna bear the noggin tosser logo which is a company that I have started recently and we have a website up and running and all of that and all of this fits in perfectly with the curriculum that I'm learning in this course right now because for an item like this you'd be able to use it as an interactive tool and obviously you can tell it's in the, the beginning stages of being created but once it is finished, we'd be able to use it as an interactive tool for an audience um, to learn about each other, to get to know each other, just break the ice a bit. Um, also, it could be used in an, in an assembly setting with an elementary school or with a youth group, and even more powerfully with a group at a rehab center or a juvenile facility for kids to learn about each other and to have some of those questions approached, such as strengths that my family has, things that I've learned from my mom or dad or my grandparents, things that I wish to carry on to the generation following, things that I'm going to teach to my kids, and just to have a bunch of open-ended ideas that then kids can build on. But as far as the curriculum side of things, with these smaller, um, these smaller tools that we'd be able to use with children, you know, they would be able to get a handle on some of the things that their teachers are trying to teach them. Children that really do need that, that hands-on approach and to be able to catch it and to look at it and see it and to see that everything's contained on this one item and the more I get to know it, the more I understand it, the more familiar I'll be with that particular facet of curriculum. And my hope is that it will be something that could be implemented through school programs and through facilities and groups everywhere and that it could be translated into different languages and possibly as I gather more information and, and more insight from others about it that I'll be able to 
uh, make a difference in how people learn and how they grow and how they progress. And teachers and, and students alike, I think it would be helpful for all of us to take a fresher approach on, on what different things can we use to help this coming generation to connect with each other rather than let's build another computer program about it and let's have it all interactive and two-dimensional but coming from a, a machine or a device where sometimes it's just better to go back to basics and take it outside and get some fresh air and get some sunlight and to interact and talk, heaven forbid, with another human face-to-face, -face, which is what we probably need a lot more of. But that's my, that's my pitch. That's Noggin Tosser in a nutshell. And my name is Bentley Murdoch, and I'm really excited for everything I'm learning in this course, so thanks for taking the time to watch this.